Hi guys. Well, for the moment anyway, it is still a gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise. And North Bumblefuck, Washington, although you might or might not be able to tell, it looks like the wildfire smoke, hellfire and brimstone is blowing in on a hot south wind here on this Labor Day Sunday. That would be September 3rd, 2017. So it is Sunday. So this is when I get to dive into my view from Zombie Island where we check in with Brother Andy uh, to see what is on his mind this week in response to some of my rants. Uh, I'm going to start off with I think his best comment of of the uh, week since I certainly can find nothing here to argue with Andy on. This was his comment about David Attenborough, the apocalyptimist, 91-year-old Sir David Attenborough, apparently turning into an apocalyptimist zombie over there in England. And this is uh, part of uh, Andy's response to the collapse of David Attenborough's brain. We are all clearly fucked now, and it is getting worse by the day. So I don't have a clue why David Attenborough would be optimistic about anything. Human awareness of issues is about as low as it could be, and it's only actions, and it is only actions that matter anyway. Corporations run the world, preventing anything changing politically. Denial is rampant, and humans are running out of fossil fuels, making the politics and public ignorance even worse. All the most biodiverse hotspots are being eradicated in last-ditch attempts to create growth. Humans will likely bloom to 12 billion before we are through due to unregulated reproductive rights. And to top it all, continued business-as-usual guarantees six degrees Celsius warming by 2100, and who knows how much after that, making human extinction almost certain in medium term. That is, if we dodge nuclear war in the next six months. My conclusion, David Attenborough must be senile, very senile. It's very sad to say for a good man to end up like this. It's like Dawkins becoming a Christian on his deathbed. Okay, I know only on, uh, only on Humpty Dumpty Tribe are we going to be able to go from David Attenborough to Donald Trump. <clears throat> I'm conflicted on Trump. On one hand, I hate him for all he stands for and is. On the other hand, I admire and support him for seemingly wanting to destroy all of humanity. From, uh, is there a way to segue from Donald Trump to global warming? Global warming is going to expunge. Great word, expunge. City after city in the USA and elsewhere. You know, he's responding to the, the news about Houston. Uh, to pay for the rebuilding of, of all these destroyed cities, if it happens at all, trillions of dollars will be channeled from the pockets 
of millions of global warming denialists, whole groups of unnecessary denialists to the elites may even need to be triaged out of existence to pay for all the work. There is only so much money and energy to go around. Looks like their efforts to avoid paying tax for global warming mitigation or avoiding lifestyle changes necessary to stop global warming in the first place have come to bite them in the ass big time. It is going to get worse for them year by year. I'm proud to say I was on the right side all along to look at, to take all the necessary steps in my life to lessen global warming while nearly everyone mocked and ignored my advice. Now it's my time to gloat and party. From global warming to peak oil, now uh, Brother Andy and I have had this, I, I, I don't know, uh, I, I think I'm having a failure to communicate with Brother Andy and other peak oil, uh, what's the word, champions? Anyway, I, I do not deny everything that these peak oil guys, you know, Richard Heinberg, James Howard Kunstler, Brother Andy, uh, everyone, I, I'm not quite as stupid a, as, I, as I sound. It's just that I uh, hold the position that we are going to go Venus, that uh, we are going to burn a hell of a lot more oil than we need to burn to take this planet Venus uh, before we ever reach peak oil. And that, that's all I have ever said. And uh, so Andy, uh, I I anyway, th this is, this is, uh, Let's see, let me just cut through a bunch of this. Okay, talking to me, uh, Andy talking to me, I don't understand why you believe the mainstream media on oil. Uh, to the extent that the Bill McKibben model the, uh, what was his big article that set all this off in Rolling Stone magazine, to the extent wherever I read in the mainstream media, which is almost never, uh, that we are going to take the planet Venus before we hit, that is going to take out global industrial civilization before peak oil does. Uh, on the once a year that I read that in the mainstream media, I do agree with that. And I guess you can call Rolling Stone magazine and Truth Dig the mainstream media if you want to. Okay, I don't understand why you believe the mainstream media on oil when you are so cynical about mainstream environmental journalism such as it is. Is it because it fits your agenda that humans will keep expanding oil extraction? Yes, uh, it does fit my agenda that humans will keep ex expanding oil extraction and CO2 will thus keep rising ever faster. I'm not saying you're not right to some extent, but it's more subtle than that. Uh, and basically what, what he's saying uh, that you can still believe in peak oil and understand that CO2 is still going to keep rising even if fossil fuel extraction doesn't. Uh, as I say, Andy and anyone else misunderstanding me, I have never argued that the peak oil guys are wrong. 
Uh, the only thing they're wrong about is, is, is who's going to win the race to the bottom. Uh, in closing, it's a moot point, though. We are fucked because collapse will be too late, meaning the collapse of global industrial civilization will be too late to save the planet. And then there's the unmaintained nuke power stations to finish us off. And that's a whole nother rant uh, about the, the unmanned nuclear power stations that'll all go mushroom cloud uh, if humans aren't around to man them. This is another one. I mean, looking over at Chernobyl that I don't necessarily buy. But uh, that is another rant for another day. But I would once again like to thank Brother Andy for uh, clearing up any misconceptions of what is going on on this planet. Peak oil or no peak oil, it's a moot point. We're all fucked anyway, and collapse will be too late to, to save the planet. Anyway, I gotta wrap this round up and head back to the hills. Bye, guys.